This is another video review. This time it's for Evo 2.0. So, yep. Yeah, double barreled ice cannon, which for some reason it has spears on it. But then again, Stormer's weapon also has spears. I don't actually have him, but I know Stormer has spears. Even though he, I don't have him, I still know that. But anyway, on to the figure. So, mmm. Yeah, as I mentioned, double barreled weapon. And, of course, as long as it is, you always gotta have his arm bent like this. Or else, which I'll show you in just a second, it will basically touch the ground. Here, let me put the camera down. Look at that. Look at that. That's what happens if you point it to the ground. It touches the ground. It looks stupid, doesn't it? Yeah. It just looks stupid. <laughs> See it touch <laughs> and I mean if he walks, if he were to walk, it'd be dragging across the floor. <laughs> I mean seriously, it's just that stupid. That's the one thing I have to criticize about this figure. So, uh, because of that, I used to have it look like this, and just have it lay, just have it do that, looks, which uh, looks weird, it's pretty awkward looking, but, and I decided it's more accurate if I do this, well, his arm can get all long when he shoots, but, but if you stick it straight down, it touches the ground, I mean, come on. That is just ridiculous. And so I have his arm bent forward. And then you can, ugh, give me a second. Then you can point it down that way, and it won't be so awkward. A bent arm is how he can hold his weapon without having it be all awkward. Yeah. That's the only thing I have to criticize about this figure. My only con. But anyway, moving on to something else. As we all know, all the 2.0 figures are super flexible. Especially here. Give him, yep, a great amount of posability so great that if you're not careful it won't be very realistic yeah I mean a lot of posability he can do that and look very graceful which would make sense cause Evo is calm and peaceful and he goes in slow motion sometimes as as Drill Dozer described him in Ordeal of Fire but, I want to tell you something real quick. <clears throat> like I said, the box art of Next 2.0 has this backwards. You can't see it from here, but from here, look at it. The buzz saws are pointed, the buzz saws stick forward instead of the blades. That's just weird. But, however, the instructions, right here, the instructions say to have the blades pointed outward as opposed to the buzzsaw. I don't get why, but, yet yeah, look at this. Even on the, in the front of the instructions, it the buzzsaws are sticking out. Anyway, back to the figure. Now, his box art is over here. His canister. Hero canister. It's got a code on the bottom. But I'm not going to show you because, for one, it's my code. For two, I already used it for Creep Crushers. 
anyway, so his hero core is purple, main color is yellow, and his accent color is purple, which you can tell by the head and the hero core. His his third color is gray, because he has a gray torso, and this this special armor that says their name or this special armor that says their name on it has the same color as their torso. Now wake up. Ugh, there we go. I just wanted to show you that. Anyway, Evo 2.0. Great figure. Hope you like him. Get him if you like. He's still available in stores, even though they don't show him on the product list. But they still show him in the building instructions area of the website, so I would recommend getting him. This is Pit5528 signing off. See you next time.